Welcome back to the channel guys and in this video I want to talk about different investing strategies that are pretty basic and that anyone can use and that I personally use myself. Investing in money in general is something that's viewed as more of a taboo topic. If you ask someone about it their eyes usually light up because they were always taught not to talk about it and if you ask one of your parents they just immediately squash it and kill it and they, they may say something like we don't talk about money in this house. Like, we don't talk about that. That's not what you talk about here. It's just something that no one ever wants to talk about. But I feel like if you want to learn how to invest and how to make money and how to manage money, it's something you really need to talk about and it's something that I think society should be more okay with bringing up and talking about. So let's just get right into it. The first strategy I want to cover is index investing and just investing in ETFs. This is my favorite kind of investing because it's really the most passive approach I can really think of. And really all you have to do is buy and hold. Buy and hold and the market will go up eventually and you will make money over the long term. I like to invest in indexes that really track the S&P 500, and, or ETFs rather, and you can buy them at a small price of, I believe it's about $300 or so, I'm not sure exactly where it lies right now off the top of my head. And you also don't have to buy the full thing, say you only have $100 to invest, you can also buy fractional shares. So say you have, like I just said $100 to invest, you can buy one third of that fund. This type of investing averages about a 7 to 8% return over the last 100 years. Even the great Warren Buffett says for the most average investor, this is the most bang for your buck, the best investment that you can possibly utilize. And he even says that most people should just keep 90% of their money in an index fund or some sort of ETF and the other 10% they should just keep in cash. Some people don't like this strategy because you are at the mercy of the market essentially and wherever the market goes, you're going with it. Other people just don't like it because it's more of a long-term strategy, but I personally like it because it's very passive, anyone can do it within minutes and anyone can make money doing it. The second type of investing I want to talk about is just investing in individual stocks. Yes, I do do this a little bit, more so more frequently with the market being volatile and everything being essentially on a discount, but I'm more of a proponent for index fund investing, mainly because there's a lot more different things you need to look into before investing in an individual stock, at least in my opinion. Before I really buy into an individual stock, I like to look at the 10K, the 10Q, the year-to-year -year growth, revenue. There's a lot of different things that I like to look into before I put my money in a company. Overall, I think if you're willing to put in the work and you're willing to read all these documents and look into every company, I don't see anything wrong with putting at least 5 to 10% into individual stocks. Mainly because it's more fun. It's more enjoyable. You can see better returns, but you can also lose a lot more if you're not picking the correct companies. Just remember when you do start to pick individual stocks, this is something you're going to have to keep up with and the average investor is not very good at this. The third type of investment I want to cover is just a high interest savings account. Everyone has some sort of cash laying around and by keeping your cash in just a regular bank like Centerville or Citizens or Bank of America or something like that, you're not really going to earn any interest on your money. I believe on average those banks pay about 0.1% interest. But if you put your money in one of these high interest savings accounts that are online, you'll earn between 1% and 2% depending on where the economy is at that time. I believe 1.5 to 1.7 is kind of about where the average is right now. I personally use Ally Bank and that gives me about a 1.5% interest on my money. This is really just to keep up with inflation. These online banks also offer CDs which is a certificate of deposit. A certificate of deposit is essentially something that locks up your money for a certain amount of time. It could be one year, two years, five years, and you will be locked into that interest rate for that five years. So say you're locked into a CD for five years and you're locked into an interest rate of 2.2%. You will earn that money annually for five years. But at the same time, if I'm gonna leave my money somewhere for five years, I think I'd rather just put it in an index fund or some other stock that will just be able to have a lot more growth over time than just 2%. Some people don't like this because they really don't trust online banks. They think they're a little sketchy. And there's really no reason to be afraid because they are FDIC insured, so there's really no way you can lose money. This is a very no-risk investment, essentially. There's 0% risk that can be calculated into this. The last type of investing I want to talk about, and it might seem a little cheesy or however you'd like to word it, but it's really just investing in yourself. This could be by buying a course, reading a book or just simply investing your time into something worth investing your time into. Investing your time can be a very huge wise and you can see a really good return on investment ultimately because the more you invest your time into something worth investing your time into, the more that may actually end up making you money in the long run. For example, say you 
invest your time into taking a course on investing and making money or starting a business and eventually you see financial returns from those courses then for just by doing that you're going to see financial gains essentially you could say so basically keep yourself in check invest in yourself continue to learn and you're ultimately going to see great returns on your money and your time with that said this is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video i do have more ideas there's a lot more coming and please subscribe if you like the video and i'll see you guys in the next video